Hi guys! For today's card, I'll be using the Susani and the Oh Happy Day stamp sets from Avril. I like to use my tablet to design my cards, and this is the one I was planning to make today, but it is a very precise design where everything has to be perfectly aligned to get the look I was looking for. Anyway, it was being a bit overwhelming for me, so I decided to totally change it and make a completely different card with a more improvised and random design. As I just mentioned, I use the digital images only for personal use. I use them only for the drafts of my cards, but I never print or send these images in any way and never use them on my cards and do not recommend you to use them on your cards either. Now that I have clarified that, I'm using some masking tape to mask the area where I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I'm using the line on my paper trimmer to align it. I will also mask the back of my card base to make sure I do not get any stamping there. For this card, I wanted to use the autumn colors brown, orange and yellow. So I chose the long foam ink pads in Doe and Fake Tan and the pure color ink pad from W plus 9 in Wild Mango. I personally am a fan of the pure color dye inks from W plus 9. I have used them many times and they smooth out a lot once they dry, always giving me great results. Anyway, I guess I trust them so much that I didn't really bother to ink up my stamps very well when I used that particular color. So I would say it was my fault if today I didn't get perfect results with that color. Being that said, I totally recommend the dye ink pads from W plus 9. Of course, I still do not recommend anyone to go and buy the whole collection without trying a couple of colors first, because what works for me not necessarily works for someone else. For example, everybody seems to love the long fun ink pads, while even when I think they are great, I keep preferring the pure color ink pads from W plus 9, or even my archival ink pads from Ranger. Talking about the archival ink pads from Ranger, I love them and think they are totally underrated. I have been using them for a while and always get great results with them. Unless, of course, I don't ink up my stamp very well, in which case I will not get a good impression of my image no matter what ink pad I use. As you can see, I'm using only one color with each stamp, which gives me a better distribution of both, the colors and the images also allows me to keep my stamping without having to clean my stamps between colors. For the smaller images, I'm using the Encore ink pad in gold. I'm using those images as leaves and I'm adding them to the orange and yellow flowers. Once I'm done, I'm going to remove the masking tape very slowly and carefully to avoid peeling off the cardstock. Then I'm going to stamp the phrase thank you using the gold ink pad from Encore. During the process, my battery died, so I finished my card off camera, for which I also draw a line above and below the sentiment area using my gold gel pen, and fill the empty spaces in the card with my stickles in champagne. Finally, I rounded the bottom corners with my half of an inch corner jumper. So, in short, I used the long fun ink pads in fake tan and dough and the pure color ink pad in wild mango. Anyway, I liked it and enjoyed it so much that I made two other cards while my battery was charging. This one was inspired by fall. The next one, where I used different shades of pink, was inspired by the pink stickles I used. And the inks I used are the Wild Rose from Lomfon, the Rosebud from Memento Lux, and the Tea Rose from Archival Ink in collaboration with Wendy Becky. The Memento Lux ink pad is a pigment ink, since I do not have any other dye ink pad in pink right now. The last card I made was inspired by winter, which is why I chose cool colors. For this one, I used the long fun ink pad in Mermaid and the archival ink pads in Aquamarine and Viridian. Regarding the stickles, I used the Champagne, Pink Tafera and Silver. As you can see, the blue card is smaller than the others. That is because I used a different cardstock which peels off very easily. 
and peeled off a lot when I removed the masking tape. In order to save it, I trimmed it down to a 4 bar card size and glued it to a 4 bar card base. So this one ended up not being a one layer card, but you can definitely make it as a one layer card just as I did with the other two cards. Anyway, here you can see how it looks as a 4 bar card, which is a fun and different size. For this one, I used my Hero Arts ink pad in silver for the sentiment and my silver gel pen from Sakura for the lines. I think the metallic shine and the glitter from the seagulls add a beautiful finishing touch to these simple one layer cards. Here are some close up pictures so that you can see in more detail the inks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. It means a lot to me. Don't forget to visit my blog to see the list of supplies and more close up pictures. Here are three more thank you cards perfect for fall. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!